everybody, this is Alchemist 2 and I'm back again with another series review. I just recently started watching a series called Falling Water and the episode was called Castles Made of Sand and the main character, she can't find her young son and interestingly enough, she has the clues as to where he might be, but it's not concrete as to what his location is, but she knows that he's in existence. Um, she keeps seeing him in her dreams. It's just really <laughs> mesmerizing. And you've got a character who can go in between other characters' dreams, and their dream states are very interesting, and uh, they differ from you know, the mundane to the sexual and the primal. And then one character, it's, there's a sad moment. He is, um, in the hospital and he says something very endearing to his significant other. And he says, I don't want the last memory of you to have my penis to be one inserted into a catheter. And I thought, mm-hmm. Yep. And he has a dream about her and, and they're in a, this kind of fancy setting is like a restaurant and or maybe a pier. And he says, the, the tide's coming in. I, th I have to go and get the boat and untie it from the dock and everything. And she says, no, no, no. You can stay a few more minutes and, and they're waltzing. And then at, at the mo last moment, you hear the EKG monitor flatline. I thought, oh, <laughs> and it just, it broke my heart. Um, it's a very intriguing series. It's fascinating, and uh, the whole concept of the mystery behind it. There's a a man going into dreams, a masked man. You can't see his face. It's it's like he has a stocking over. It's um, an opaque stocking. You can't you can't see his features, and he's always chasing other people in their own dream states, and he gets killed. Um, but one of, one of them said, you can't die in your dreams, and clearly at the very end of the episode, he's just lying there in a pool of his own blood with where he was impaled. I thought, uh, that just throws that theory completely out the window, but it's, it's interesting. I've already gotten to, like, uh, Tanaka. I thought, yep. I knew I was going to like an Asian character, but, oh, he is handsome. I don't know what it is. I'm just, I'm very, <laughs> um, very uh, captivated by him. He's, he's extremely fetching. He's, he's just, there's something about his character that really draws me. It's kind of like with Hiro Nakamura and, and Heroes. And I just was, oh my gosh. His character, it, it, his, Tanaka is different though. Tanaka is a character that is sensual and, oh my lord, I just think, yummy. <laughs> I mean, I shouldn't, but, oh my god, I mean, he is so handsome. Oh, what I wouldn't do. But anyway, I shouldn't say things like that. But I, I just, I find him very alluring and, um just a character if it if, if that were somebody I would want to fall in love with in real life I would definitely do it and they'd get a hall pass oh <laughs> uh, needless to say uh, yeah his his dream sequences with uh, his significant other are all sexual and she's always using a vibrator to um, really some sexual tension and I thought well who hasn't had a, a sexual dream before it's it's uh, very common it's just a basic need of our biology and procreation it, it is interesting it's just all uh, these people having different dreams and yet the recurring theme of the man in the opaque mask and then he gets impaled with scissors it's like gardening shears i'm like holy crap <laughs> that's a pretty extreme way to die but yeah this was a good episode i 
uh, castles made of sand. I'm trying to decipher what the title actually meant, to be honest. Sand castles don't last forever. I guess in, in a dream, uh, when you're under a very deep sleep, you have the Morpheus and, and sleep, I guess, in your eyes actually protecting you. But that's also known as sand. Um, you know, I've got sand in my eyes. Morpheus had a field day, that sort of thing. That's what I say. Um, sand castles. Um, oh. Uh, now I get it because the character, I think he was Brazilian or Latino. Uh, I'm not sure, but he just, he felt like he had a Latino flair to him. But he, he passed away. I mean, I, I knew it because he just didn't seem like he was going to make it through. And it, it just, it was so sad, but it was also a very endearing moment between he and his lover when she had her head rested on his chest and she said goodbye before, um, before he died. Um... And I'm intrigued now with the main character. I think that's... Burton is the black man, I do believe. Because I'm not familiar with these characters yet. This is the first episode I've ever watched. I'm, I'm getting used to it. Wow. I mean, this is... This is like a, equivalent to Westworld for me. Because it's just so convoluted. And just, the, the questions, they just keep um, amalgating and I'm just I'm curious as to where it's going to go and I have absolutely zero theories on this show unlike with Westworld but um yeah it is absolutely fantastic and I'm glad I got into it till next time live long prosper ciao Zuzi